Yo, what's good everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to unlock your first 4K damage badge for Caustic. A lot of these tips will apply to other legends if you're not super interested in getting a 4K with Caustic, but there will be some particular tips for playstyles for Caustic, and these tips are gonna apply to any of the damage badges you are currently working towards. So if you're going for that 3K or 2.5K, don't worry, all these tips help as well. Now, I promise that you will learn some things in this video if you watch until the end. If anyone's new here, I post a ton of Apex content that centers around helping you guys improve. So let me know if you enjoy these types of videos down in the comments. In this video, I will go over landing spots, weapon loadouts, team comps, play style, IQ level, and much more. I've got plenty of tips to cover, so let's get into it. First thing to cover when you're going for a high damage game is the drop spot. Okay, and since all three maps are in rotation this season, I'm gonna talk about spots for all three maps right quick. Now keep in mind it all comes down to the trajectory of the dropship for this. Some games, Skyhook for example, could be popping off, but I'll bet you it's because it's the first spot out of the ship rather than the last. Now for World's Edge, you gotta be thinking Fragment and Lava Siphon for the most part. You can always bet on Fragment East and West being very popular, but Lava Siphon can have a good amount of people land there because it is in the middle of the map and nobody likes Harvester. <laughs> For Olympus, I'd be looking at Fight Night, Estates, Oasis, or Gardens. And for King's Canyon, it's always going to be random. Labs, Salvager Market, Containment, and Crash Site are usually pretty popular. Now, King's Canyon and Olympus will definitely play out differently because they don't have that one spot like World's Edge does being Fragment East or West. So take a good look around when you're in the ship and see where people are headed. It's important that you have a good start to your game, but it's also important that you take note of where you see your neighboring teams land as well. You want to have a plan when it comes to rotating after you get finished with that initial fight off draw. Now going for high damage and high kills are not always synonymous with one another. So don't fret if you only fight one or two teams off drop. That's plenty. You just got to get a good start and then rotate fast. Now moving on to loadouts, I will preface this with it's mostly going to be your preference with what weapons you want to use. I have a few games here that I chopped up and I drop high damage in all of them and I use different weapons in each game. I will say I generally tend to roll with the first two decent guns I find off drop. Not really sure why, I just think it's a habit I've developed and I've noticed I do it. So in a few of these games I use weapons like the R301, the Volt, the Charge Rifle, the R99, a Mastiff, Peacekeeper, EVA 8. Really, my goal is to have a mid or long range gun and a close range gun. So you don't really see me carry an SMG and a shotgun because all of your fights are gonna have to be close range at that point. So I'd like to do something where I can do damage from mid or long range and then have a gun where when I do close the gap, I don't feel like I'm hindered. So I need a close range gun because a lot of fights in Apex will come down to being close range. And that's usually when you're gonna secure most of your kills. But remember, farming damage or getting high damage you can benefit from being distanced from your enemies. So using a long range gun will be beneficial as long as you're good with it and as long as the game comes to you. The other thing I have to mention when you use a long range gun is play style, but I'm gonna get more into that in just a moment. If you're enjoying this video, I hope you'll do me one solid and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. So only take a second of your time and it really helps the video out. So I would definitely appreciate that guys. All right, let's talk about general play styles for Caustic when it comes down to dropping high damage games and being able to master Caustic overall. So Caustic is obviously a defensive legend, but if you play too defensive in any given game, you run the risk of just not getting into enough engagements and therefore not stacking that damage number up. I do tend to gravitate towards indoors with Caustic and try to make opponents fight me on my terms. But obviously this can't happen every fight. Random teammates don't tend to catch on to this tactic because generally being backed into a corner indoors isn't good for other legends. This can also prolong fights, which generally draws in third parties, which can then end your good game that you're having if you don't get enough time to reset from the first fight. I usually duo queue with a friend for this reason to drop 4Ks and it's important to get on the same page so you guys can play off of one another. Caustic's biggest weakness is his lack of mobility and the fact that no matter what you do, it always feels like you're moving slower on this legend. Now I know all legends move the same, but placebo is a real thing, and Caustic feels like one of the slowest legends along with Gibby. I started to dislike this more and more, which has resulted in me playing him less. And the other issue with Caustic is if you try to use traps during engagements, they have made him pretty easy to counter. For instance, actively placing traps during a fight 
they can get shot out within two seconds of them being inflated. And it obviously pulls your gun away and that all adds up to a few seconds, which can be the result of you getting hit for 100 and your ability basically being completely countered. So this is why I try to fight a lot of people indoors with traps set up or my ultimate ready. You should know Kings Canyon and Olympus tend to be much more wide open. So it feels a lot harder to achieve with caustic on those maps. Sure, there are some spots that favor a caustic playstyle. don't get me wrong, but overall, I've noticed I tend to do better on World's Edge with caustic. Now, I know I've mentioned this in other caustic videos, if you've seen them, but you've got to capitalize on enemies when they're in your gas. They will be slowed along with taking damage, and if you can't execute on them when they're in the gas, caustic's utility is basically zero. It is becoming increasingly harder for me to succeed with Caustic when I solo queue for a multitude of reasons. But overall, I just think he has some bugs and isn't as good as other legends in the majority of the situations you find yourself in. Sure, if you get him in the right environment, then he is very strong. But getting into those situations is becoming less and less frequent for me. I don't recommend solo queuing with him because he needs teammates, particularly mobility legends that can assist him to close the gap. And that's the other big thing. Close combat with Caustic is where he really shines. So try to make sure you save your ultimate for close combats and then pounce on your opponents. This is a great way to achieve a successful outcome when you play as Caustic. The best games I've ever had as a Caustic is when people come to me. This doesn't happen every game, but when it does, I dominate in those games. But running around and searching for everyone, especially when you solo queue, is very difficult this season. Every team that you come across has a wall hack legend and if they know you're alone or if they catch you out of position, it's a GG. In order to drop 4Ks, you gotta move quick though. And most randoms won't move fast enough in order to help you drop these high damage games. That's because they're usually not focused or able to operate that quick. It's not their fault. You're just gonna play with a variety of different skill levels when you solo queue. And it is what it is. Your IQ needs to be pretty high to drop 4Ks, so if you're struggling with them, I recommend checking out some more of my videos where I let you into my thought process for every engagement that I get into when I drop these 4Ks. I have a video on every legend doing so. If you're lucky enough to squad up with some friends, make sure that they accompany a caustic playstyle. Rushing everything is super risky due to his lack of mobility and large hitbox. I constantly have to remind myself to slow down a bit as caustic and try to let the game come to me more. If you aren't using his gas, then there's no benefit to playing as him. There is a delicate balance between camping all game and being strategic on how you take any given fight. One of the last things I'll mention is how good players will try to counter a caustic. They will be patient with you. They won't blindly rush through your gas if they don't have a clear opening. And they will try to set off your traps to make sure that you waste your abilities until you're on a long enough cooldown to then leave you without any abilities and then just push you. Good players can pretty easily outplay a Caustic, especially if he doesn't have a favorable angle and if he doesn't have his traps or his ultimate. But if a player tries to push you and you have your traps up and they have no clear opening, you better put them down. Now other teams may just decide not to fight a Caustic team if they are indoors. However, I've noticed this mostly to occur in ranked matches where people tend to play more strategic. But just remember guys, 4Ks are tricky. You can do everything right, like win every fight you take and still drop high damage, but there's just not enough people left alive in your match for you to get it. So keep at it and eventually it will happen. If you guys are still watching and you're not subscribed, I hope this video encourages you to subscribe so you can catch me on my next upload. That's gonna be it for me. Thanks so much for watching. Peace. Let me get the 4K on this kid. Pop the gas? What is he doing? He's one random shooter. I just need to first that other kid. What is he doing? He's just staring at me. He's looking at me. He's missing me. <laughs> he has a needle. What the f is he doing? the bat? No. Take a battery. You wanna thirst here? I can't, this kid's so stupid. <laughs>